everybody, and welcome back to another episode of I Coleman is D -D 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 Doomed! That's right, we're here with the final miniseries. We've died over a million times. We've faced audio issues. We've faced sinister forces. We've faced my actual death, except it turned out not really. We've even faced scheduling difficulties, which as we all know, is a thing that's most likely to kill a YouTube series. And yet somehow, two and a half blessed years later, here we are. Now it's time for us to face Doom 4. AKA Doom 2016, AKA Doom. Yeah, thanks Bethesda. Gonna be a lot of thanks Bethesda in this, let me tell you that. If you don't know, this is a show where we play through every single Doom game on the hardest non-nightmare difficulty using only the pistol and our fists. Which, since there isn't a dedicated fist button in this, means we will be using only the pistol and glory kills. Let us begin. The game crashed. The game straight up crashed. Thank you, Bethesda. Now I can't tell if the game is crashed or is just taking a long time to load. I think it's loading, right? And that, and that look like loading. Oh, it's loading. They are rage, brutal, without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Just one of the best openings to a video game. Oh, that's a kid with the fist. It counts. It doesn't break the rules. So, I love this game. I think we probably all love this game, right? I remember what a great summer it was when it came out and I played it all the way through. Despite the fact that if you played this game at launch, it was very, 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 very broken. Thank you, Bethesda. I mean, we didn't know if this game was going to be good at all. The beta test was so bad, I was pretty convinced it was going to be crap. And then instead it ruled. It's ruling right now. As we speak, this game is ruling. Admittedly, I wish you could skip the cutscenes. I mean, I think the story of Doom 4 is great and all, but you didn't come here to watch Samuel Hayden talk about whatever. You came here to watch me talk about whatever. And die a lot. Oh man, what, what I, oh, that's the glory kill button F? Why is it F? Okay. Probably everyone knows this, but uh, the glory kills are a new mechanic in Doom 4. They're super fun. And they're gonna be really, really important for this run. Picking up the shotgun, which of course we will not be using at all. So let's talk about some pros and cons of this challenge on Doom 4. Mm -hmm. One pro, pistol's more effective in general. You can upgrade it and it has that charge attack. None of the other Doom games let you kill an imp with one pistol shot like I just did. Also a pro is the aforementioned glory kills. They're a huge part of the game and they can be upgraded to be even more powerful. Plus, they give you health and armor, I think. Isn't that an upgrade? They give you good stuff. So punching and pistoling are both more viable in this game than they were in the other games. I turned the graphics way down so that the video would be as smooth as possible, so that's why the pixels uh, uh, look like that. Also, another upside is that ultraviolence in this game is really Demonic easy. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lock well, okay. It's really easy if you're not a dingus. It is definitely easier, though, than the Ultra Nightmare difficulty has been in the other games. But let's have a talk about some downsides. Biggest downside you may have already noticed since my death. There's no quick saving at all. If you've watched this show in the past, you know that I've managed to succeed largely by save scumming. Sometimes you have to save after you kill literally every monster in the room. It can take you many, many tries to succeed. Now, every time I have to do one of those many, many tries, I have to sit through a long loading screen and then do it all again from the beginning. It also means that I'm going to have to play every level in pretty much a single continuous playthrough. Since I think if you quit, it also deletes your checkpoints. By the way, back in my games journalist days, I expressed this opinion a lot, but uh, every video game should have quick save. It's literally shameful that that's not standard anymore. Where you at? Where you at? Give me your health juices. Honestly, this is one section I've always had some trouble with. I mean, I feel like this is a lot to throw at you when you've barely started the game and you have garbage weaponry. But pretty soon you get the shotgun and then it's all super easy and fine. Ah, that's what it will be like for us. Jeez, the imps start coming and they don't stop coming. She would ruin everything. Ah, I see you're familiar with my work. It was worth the risk. 
Ah oh, man, what a glorious intro. How can you not get pumped? I've played this game a zillion times and I'm sitting here pumped. But uh, we won't be needing that shotgun. All right, time for our first real level. All right, so this fight is one that I, I sometimes have troubles with. We definitely want to uh, pick off all the zombies we can before starting it. No, don't go into glory kill mode, come on. Go into dead. And here we go! All right, good start, good start. Killed a, uh... Oh, they're not called shotgun zombies anymore. They're not even called zombies, they're the possessed. But whatever, killed dude with gun, killed in. Pew, 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 Ah, uh, get him! Pew, 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 pew. Well, that was terrible. Uh, what, what did any of that land on? What was the, how does, how does the physic work? And we're all the way back here. This is exactly the garbage I'm talking about. Ding, dong, ding, ah, uh, ding, ah, uh, come on, ding, ah, uh, ding, dong, ah, uh, dong, ding, 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 dong, ding, dong. All of the guns in this game are very, very satisfying. With one. Notable exception. It sounds like a squeak. Listen to what, what's the squeak noise? So far, it is all going better than I've expected. I don't know. I oh, did I actually hit him? I hit the wrong button. I think I might have hit him with the shotgun. As awesomely as this has been going so far, I don't want to break the rules. <sighs> Okay, so this one's not going as well as the last one did, which is very much a classic sort of I Coleman is doomed move. You do well, but you don't quite succeed, and then you never do that well again. But I mean, you all know this, right? Is anyone new joining in after 113 episodes? If you are, I mean, welcome. You should probably go back and watch some of the previous episodes. They're pretty good. I like the musical ones, and uh, that 1812 Overture one's pretty good. The one with the Plutonia Archvile level has a really great gag with teleporters. There's some stuff, I don't know. Hey, I won! Isn't that nice? You gotta get the secrets. And the reason you gotta, well, this isn't a secret, this is just a key. Still, you gotta get the secrets. And the reason you gotta get the secrets is because the secrets are gonna help you upgrade your stuff. Sorry, grenade. For us, it is very important that we upgrade the pistol as fast as possibly possible, and then never bother with that ever again. I'm actually gonna get out, you know what? I gotta dig through the boxes here. Okie doke, I found it. That is the sound of my honest to goodness Prima strategy guide for Doom 2016. For those of you who don't remember Prima Strategy Guides, which is dead now, uh, these were like online walkthroughs, except instead of ugly, impossible to navigate, unverified pseudo garbage that somebody just vomited onto GameFAQs, they were really easy to navigate, beautifully designed works of art made by actual professionals. Okay, there's no actual, like, good stuff yet, but there's about to be. I mean, we did get Tiny Doom Friend, and you love to see him, but we're looking for weapon, health, and armor upgrades. Not ammo upgrades though, pistol is infinite ammo. That is one thing about doing this challenge. It is really a lot of different challenges. Like in Doom 3 we had a ton of problems because there was just no pistol ammo to go around. That will never be a problem in Doom 4. However, we do have to kill every monster. So this is a Praetor suit token, gives us some upgrades to some stuff. Let's go ahead and just get, we'll, we'll just get hazard protection. I for one love to be protected from hazards. Ding. It is still satisfying to get a headshot. It's still satisfying to do a glory kill. I feel like I'm just, I don't know. I'm being overly positive now because I know where this crap is going. Oh dear. Punch, maim. What, wait, that worked? You can kill an imp in three punches? Okay, let's just do that always then. Squish. Okay, we got a secret lever. That opens this. Well, doesn't this all seem disgustingly familiar? Ah, uh, come on. I do not want to die in the stupid secret room. Lord only knows where dying here would take me. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't give me that low health. 
No, give me all the little the little gogurts of health, whatever those are. Okay. Man, I actually have to remember which one it is for real. I just always use the trick where you can hit them both because the 3D is fake. Oh, well, I guessed right anyway. Anyway, the real reason for doing that is we get a weapon upgrade point, which we will of course be spending on the pistol. We got some uh, charge efficiency. So now we can charge quicker. Look at that! Oh, it's so fast! Not really. One of my few problems with this game is definitely the fact that it's very hard to keep track of all the different upgrade things. Here is yet another. Uh, there's no weapon modifications for the pistol? Well, why even bother? Are you liking that? Like, you might be asking, okay, so we got a weapon upgrade point, and that could be used on the pistol, but then we got a weapon modification point, and that couldn't be used on the pistol. So what's the difference there, I, Coleman? To which I would have to respond, uh... There's also Praetor Suit tokens and Argent Energy, both of which upgrade the Praetor Suit, a thing which must also be supplemented by random chunks of green crap you find lying all over the ground. I know it's supposed to be some, like, mystical demon artifact made by a great demon smith or whatever. I feel like the Doom Slayer got gypped is all I'm saying. For one thing, it looks really stupid and generic and don't try to pretend it's not. We were all making the Halo jokes and those didn't stop being true just because the game turned out to be fun. Give Doom Guy Iconic Armor 2020. Yeah, how about that? You stand and try to taunt me? Growl shit, get hit. Punch, maim! Make with shooting, time for hurt. Spine adjustments. Uh, major migraine. Amateur dentistry. Amateur chiropractic. Exploding good times. Health acquired. Death is imminent. This is unhelpful. Close and personal. In conclusion, Get God. Ah, yes, a shield. Love when you go to Mars base and it's just a, a shield. Just an old timey shield. Welcome to the UAC. Now 221 accident free days. Nice. That's a pretty good number. And, and, and it's press E and we're done. Let's go ahead and hit you with that save and exit. Since it's the only time we can save, thanks Bethesda. Well, I hope you enjoyed that first episode of I, Coleman is Doomed, and I hope you'll come back as we finally wrap this endless torment up. I'm sure that nasty old Dr. Habsgood won't be making any more appearances. But until next time, remember, don't pre-order video games until you get a chance to read the reviews. What's the matter with you? It's three months away. Come on, man. Have some self-respect. Don't be a corporate puppet. Not even for Doom.